Greetings, salutations. Welcome again to my at home pandemic Pilates with your teacher, Grace Sadie. Um, I hope people will actually do this with me. If not, and you're just sitting there watching me um, and not doing it along, then just stop because there's no point in that. So, um, again, I am training to be a Pilates teacher, so I am not a certified Pilates teacher at this point. Therefore, I cannot guide you as well as I would like to, but I'm going to try my best. But it is your responsibility to take care of your body. So just go at your pace. If there's something you can't do, don't do it. You can send me a message later. We can use a modification. Anything that has your neck up, if your neck does not feel good up or it starts to hurt, just put your neck down. Um, yeah. Uh, so always a rolled up towel can work really well to put under your neck. Um, any kind of roller. Um, I'd love to do a class on a roller, but I don't know how many people actually have them. So we'll get to that. But um, maybe everyone out there in Pilatesville wanting to do Pilates, a mat and a roller, and I recommend one of the big ones. Not this little thing, this is great for like some stuff, but if y'all get a roller, we can do some more fun stuff with that. Another idea is if you don't have a mat, I was thinking if anyone, because we live in the Pacific Northwest, if anyone has like a thermorest, this is a great option for a mat in your house. Maybe lay a tail down underneath it and on top of it, whatever you want, so it doesn't squish around as much, but a um, couple blankets, sleeping bags, line those with a couple towels, you should be good as long as your spine is nice and cushioned. Okay. Oh, sorry, I always get so nervous because I can't see the other side of the camera, so it could be off or I could have like a bunch of different masks going on right now, like, and you know, like a bunch of filters. I'm sure that's not happening. Um, I put my dog in the other room, but if he starts to get crazy, uh, that's what's going on. Um, anyway, well, welcome to Pilates. Again, this is your practice, so just be safe with your body, and we're going to get into it. So, um, you don't really need any equipment, just your mat today, and I'm going to try and guide you the best I can. So, again, here we go. Um, let's start standing up. So, we're going to stand at the back of our mat. And we're gonna do a roll down, which is just one vertebra at a time. So stand tall, tall, you're standing beautiful. I don't know if I'm cut off right now, I apologize if I am, but you're gonna stand as tall as you can. And then you're gonna look down at your feet and you're gonna lower one vertebra at a time, going as slow as humanly possible. Slow, 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 and get to where you can just hang. And let's hang here for a second. We're gonna shake our head, yes. No. Move your arms a little. Oh, that feels nice. And let's just go ahead and walk our hands out into a downward dog. Oh, stretch it out. Maybe walk those heels back and forth. Get a nice stretch. One more breath in. And now, all right, now let's go to all fours, please. So we're gonna go to all fours and we're gonna try the same thing we did yesterday. I'm gonna try and keep my back flat. So no arching like this or curling like that. More of a flat back. And we're going to um, inhale and do nothing. Exhale, tighten it all in. See, but I curled there. Don't curl, we're gonna inhale. Exhale, tighten your belly. All the air up. Nothing else moves. Inhale, relax. Exhale, all the air up. Tighten your belly. Just warming up those up. One more time, release. Inhale, sorry. Exhale, tighten. Nice. And if you feel that, you should feel it wrap all the way around because your core is actually here and here and your intestines are on the inside. So it just like tightens and loosens and that's really great 
Also, all the twisting is great for your intestines. And we want to be sure we're breathing in all these exercises. So in Pilates, we try and flex on the exhale. So all of the flexion in our tummy is on the exhale. So we inhale, and then we exhale. All the air out. Okay? So again, we're going to go back onto all fours. And now we're just going to do our cat-cow where we do flex. So we're going to inhale the burp air. Exhale, tilt our head up. Tilt. You're gonna tilt your head up and you're gonna keep your belly tight. So inhale, exhale up. Inhale, look down towards your belly button. Exhale, all the air out. Look up. Inhale. Look at your belly. Exhale up. Inhale, look at your belly. Let's go back into a child's pose, stretching it all out. In Pilates, a child's pose kind of feels different to me. So you want to feel the stretch right in the middle of your back going two separate ways. So by pushing your hands forward, pulling your butt back, you get that sensation of stretch in the middle of your back. Go ahead and breathe into it. Let's get a twist in our right, so we're going to turn to the right side and twist. Breathe into the back, breathe into the right side, trying to push your left sits bone, oh, you're sorry, your right sits bone down. Back to center. Twist to the left, try and keep your right sits bone down. One more breath. Back to all fours. Woo! All right. So now we're going to do a tail wag, which just gets a little flexion in our spine. So what you're going to want to do is be on all fours and just pick up your right foot. So our right foot is lifted, and we're going to take it to our right side, and we're going to look at our pinky toe, and we're going to twist it to our left side, and we're going to look at our big toe. And take it to your right side and look at your pinky toe, and twist it to your left side and look at your big toe. Again to the right, look at your pinky, again to the left. Now let's add some breath to that, so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. Okay, go ahead and drop that foot down. You're going to lift your other foot, left foot up. And we're going to start by looking at our pinky toe and rotating it over and looking at our big toe. And we're rotating it back and looking at our pinky toe. And we're rotating it over and looking at our big toe. Let's add breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look at your pinky toe. Exhale, look at your big toe. Inhale, look at your pinky toe. Exhale, look at your big toe, and one more time. Exhale, look at your big toe. All right, back down, cat. Give yourself a child's pose, I mean, sorry. Sometimes the hardest is all the names, but I'm trying to remember them, so we're getting there. All right, we're gonna go back into our all fours, and we're just gonna do a single arm, leg, and lift. So we're gonna just start simple. Just lift your right arm and nothing else, so put all your weight into your left side. Here, I'm not like this, but just like your weight is strong, you're here, and it's nothing but in your body, lifting, and back down. Again, put your weight into your right hand. Now just lift your left arm, and back down. Same thing on the other side, right arm lifts, nothing else moves. Left arm lifts, nothing else moves. Now we're going to do our legs. Let's lift our right leg behind us, straight, out. And bring it back right underneath. And again, bring your left leg straight out. Nothing else moves. And put it back. I'm all crickety today. Oh, getting old. All right, again, right leg back, straight back. And bring it in. Left leg back. Bring it in. 
Now let's do that all together. We're going to add the arms and legs. So we're going to do right leg, right hand, left leg. Okay, everybody, here we go. Inhale, exhale, right arm, left leg. Bring it down. Other side, inhale, exhale. Left arm, right leg, down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Bring it back. Inhale, exhale. Left arm, right leg. One more time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Long as you can get. Bring it back. Inhale. Exhale, everything out. Straight line. And lower down. Just sit on your heels for a minute. Oh. Rotate your arms back and forth. Maybe a little stretch here. Oh, that's good. Give your wrists a little rotation. Okay, so now we're going to go back and do our mini swan. So just go ahead and lay on your belly. And your arms are just a little bit wider than your mat. So you're in your X position. Go ahead and X your body. So your legs are a little wide, arms are a little wide. And now, tuck your tummy. So, inhale, to prepare. Your tummy is tucked, you're tight. And you're gonna exhale, bring your head up by moving your arms toward you. So you're looking down straight, your arms come towards you and you lift your chest up, opening up your collarbones and all of this to the sun. Okay, <sighs> let's try that again. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift. You really don't want to feel it too much in your lower back, although your back muscles are working, but it shouldn't hurt. It should be more here. So if that's too much, let's count a little less. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. Maybe that's it. And then lower back down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. Lower down. And one more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. Everything is tight. Lower down. Our next exercise is swimming. So it's again, we're going to start slow. So um, your head should be down. I'm just going to talk to you this way so I'm not all muffled, but try and keep your head straight down. So your neck is in perfect alignment. Arms are wide, legs are wide. We're in the X, but not super wide, not like that. Just a little bit, about the size of your mat, a little bit wider. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just start by lifting everything up at the same time. Okay, so inhale, exhale, lift. Lower down. Let's try that again. Inhale, exhale, lift. Lower down. All right, so now let's just lift our right arm, left leg. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift. Lower down. Inhale to prepare, exhale, left arm, right leg. Lower down. Now we're going to lift it all up at once and swim. Okay, so inhale to prepare. Exhale, swim. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. And lower it all down. Ooh. All right, let's go back into a child's pose, stretching out in two directions, booty one way, arms the other. <clears throat> That's nice, okay. All right, we're gonna flip over onto our backs. So, um, lie on your back, uh, however is easiest to get there. Some people need to go slow, roll down. So we're just gonna start with pelvic tilts. So again, we're in perfect alignment. Our ankles, knees are straight over each other, and then our hips and knees are in alignment. So we're just in a nice like boop, boop, straight. My pelvis is not tilted up nor down. It's just nice and neutral right now. 
So let's just put our hands on our um, bellies right now. Kind of angle your fingers toward your pelvis. And let's just inhale to prepare. Exhale, tighten your abs. All the air out. Do that once more. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, tighten your abs, letting all the air out. And that's the sensation you want to feel. And I know it's ridiculous as it sounds, it's so good to make a lot of noise when you breathe. So inhale, just fill up all your lungs, and then exhale, just try to imagine you're trying to squeeze every breath out of your body. I have a little congested on one side, but I'm not sick, I swear to God. Okay, so we're gonna do pelvic tilts now. So inhale, and then exhale, you're gonna tilt your pelvis towards the sky, pushing your lower back into the mat. So it almost wants to lift all the way up, but we're not lifting up all the way yet. So we're just gonna inhale and prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis. Lower it down. Slow and controlled. Not just letting go. Slow and controlled. Everything slow and controlled. Remember that. Okay, so inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis up. Slow. Control. Your back now feels flat into the mat. Your legs are engaged. And lower back down. Now, if you have a hard time connecting with this, I highly recommend a ball in between your knees. Like this because you will grab into the ball more, you will stay more straight, and you can really feel it. So we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis. See how my legs tighten around that ball? Everything is working together. So if you don't have a ball, that's okay. Um, there's a lot of other things you can use, but you can get one of those online pretty easily um, as well. Okay, so. Let's now go up into a bridge. So we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, tilt your pelvis, lift all the way up, push your hips as high as they will go. And now we're as high as we will go, we're gonna inhale at the top. Exhale, we're gonna come down one vertebra at a time, slow and controlled, trying to push your booty down. And that was really, should be the first thing to come down. And then, see, Still want to get my booty and then lower down. So it really feels like you're getting separation between each vertebra. So again, we're going to inhale to repair. Exhale, tilt your pelvis. Lift up to the sky. Lift, 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 lift. We're up here. We're going to inhale at the top. Exhale, lower down, slow and controlled, pushing your booty down, pushing your knees, trying to feel like your knees are trying to go over your toes, but you're not really moving. And slow and controlled, everything down. Whew, how good does that feel? Last one, let's do another one. Okay, inhale. Exhale, tilt your pelvis. Lift up, 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 all the way up. Look at all that room under your booty. And lower slow and controlled, trying to get space between your vertebra, your booty comes down first, and then everything else lets down. Woo! Okie dokie, spagoki. What's the next? Okay, so that is um bridging, and then there's something called flat back bridging, and I want you to know the difference because it took me a while to understand it. But the difference in flat back bridging is right now my pel my pelvis. My pelvis is neutral, so I'm not tilted. I am straight, just straight right in here, not like that. My lower back has a little natural curve underneath it. And I want you to just, from here, using your tummy muscles to lift your back up. And this is called flat back bridging. So we're gonna inhale to prepare. You are not tilting your pelvis. So we're gonna inhale to prepare and you're just gonna lift straight up, inhale. Exhale, lift. And come back down. Try and get your sits bones down first. Exhale. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's the difference? I couldn't figure it out either until my Pilates teacher said, okay, so when you go up, go ahead and stick your, whatever hand is most available, kind of put it on your lower back. 
and just do your flat back bridging and you'll feel your lower back engage. And that is all those muscles around your lower spine. And that is really, really good work. And you don't get that when you do your uh, curved bridging. So this is just extremely good for your lower back and strengthening your lower back muscles. So we're gonna flat back bridge. So our, pel our pelvis is not tilted, we're straight. We're gonna lift up, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift, go ahead and put your hand there if you want. All my back muscles are engaged. Exhale, try and get your sits bone down first. Oh, and lower down, good job. Bring your knees into your chest, rock back and forth. Maybe do a little stretching. Oh, that feels awesome. Okie dokie. All right, so the next exercise is called the hundreds, but we're gonna do a modified version of the hundreds because it's kind of a confusing exercise if you ask me. So let's go ahead and bring our knees into tabletop. So you're gonna bring one leg up and then the other. So we're in a nice tabletop position. Our legs are kind of at a 90 degree angle, straight out from our hips, up and then out. Okay, and we are going to slowly lift our head and curl up into an ab curl. And then let's just lower that back down. So let's have our arms straight up, palms uh, facing the knees and we're just gonna do our curl again. So inhale to prepare, exhale, curl. All the air up, inhale, exhale, back down. Whew, okay, go ahead and rest your legs for a second. So the next time we come up, we're gonna do a breathing of inhale for exhale. So we'll do inhale for three, exhale for three. So inhale, exhale. That's gonna be our breath. So we're gonna come up into our curl, knees are bent, and then we're going to breathe heavy while we pump our arms. And you're gonna try and pump from the back of your arms. It's not so much your arms, it's trying to get the whole base of your body. So these are called the hundreds and we're doing a modified hundred. So we're gonna start with our knees up, in a tabletop. So bring one leg at a time, slow and controlled, using your abs, right leg, left leg. Okay, arms are straight up, palms are facing our knees, we're gonna bend up into our out curl, inhale, and go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Try and keep the tummy tight. I know I'm not doing the best job, but try. you going and I'll get better at it. We'll do it together. Okay, so our next exercise is called the roll up and we're going to start with our <clears throat> straight legs and we're going to roll them up as we come up. Hold on. Lay a little. So our legs are straight. We're going to have our arms behind our head. And the idea is to roll up, but this can be really hard for a lot of people. So we're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, draw your knees towards you, roll up. And if you can't do that, that's okay. Roll back down. Ooh. Okay. Um, if you have a dish towel or anything and you want to put it just around your leg, anything will work that you can bend your knees in, inhale to repair, exhale, come straight up, and lower back down, slow, curving your spine, one vertebra at a time. Whew. We're going to try one more of those, we're going to do the modified roll up, so we're going to start with our legs straight, we're going to inhale to prepare, exhale, bring your knees in, arms overhead and roll up. 
Beautiful. And C curve back down, slow and controlled. And one vertebra at a time. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're going to do single leg curls now. So we're going to keep our legs straight down. We're going to bring our right leg up. Point it at the ceiling and um, turn it out just the tiniest bit, like a 90 degree turn. So like I'm not here, I'm here. And we're gonna do a circle around the body. So we're gonna sweep our leg, trying to keep our hips stable. So that's the main point. Keep your hips from moving. So go down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. One more, down, around, and up. Go the other way. Let's add our breath. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, exhale, go ahead and lay that leg down, bring your left leg up, and again, we're going to cross the body, come down, around, and up, keeping those hips as uh, into the mat securely as you can, so we're not rocking our hips up or anything like that, so we're locked in, our pelvis is just stable, and we're going inhale, exhale, around the body, down, up, around the body, down, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, I think I did too many, but that's okay, we need to go in reverse, so we're going to inhale, exhale, down, around, and up, inhale, Exhale, down, around, and up. Keep your pelvis stable. Inhale. Exhale, down, around, and up. One more. Down, around, and up. Ooh. Ooh. Get too crazy. Get too crazy. Come back up, and we're going to roll like a ball. Again, if rolling like a ball is not for you, and a lot of people it's not for, or it terrifies, or you have a big butt, or big boobs, or some men just have no ability to curve back here. You're just gonna wanna start with your legs straight in front of you, arms out, and we're just gonna do a C curve in our spine. So we're gonna lower down and come back up. How far can you go? Just an inch? Stay there. Come back up. Can you go two inches? Stay here, come back up, wherever's good, you know? Go f a little further, push yourself. My problem spot is about here, Ooh. and then come back up, Ooh. just using your abs, you know? That's what you wanna do if you can't roll like a ball. If you can't roll like a ball, go ahead and come up to the end of your mat, bring your arms to the outside of your ankles, and just lift your feet up and find your balance point. This is my balance point. I'm very comfortable here, but I also, I don't know. I, I've always been pretty good at this kind of balancing, but now I'm balling. See, and that's okay. So you do not want to go past your neck. Up in here is dangerous, danger baby. You could very much hurt yourself. Do not go that far. So it is a small, just inhale to prepare. Exhale. And come up. Try and find your balance point. So it tilts a little, so I'm gonna come back straight. Balance point, inhale to prepare. Exhale, and back up. Balance point, inhale to prepare. Exhale, back. Let's do two more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, back. Up, balance point. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, back. Uh, up. Uh, you're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, single leg stretch. Okay. Hold on one sec. Sorry. Single leg stretch. 
is what I think it is. So we're going to lay on the backs again. We are in both our knees into our chest. Oh yeah, that feels nice. We're just gonna start with that. And this exercise usually has your hands involved. It can be very confusing. So let's just keep our hands out of it for now. Or go ahead and put them behind your neck and lift your head. So if lifting your head is too much, let's just start here. So we're just gonna um, extend our left leg and we're not up here, but we're kind of at like where the wall meets the ceiling. And switch. Just controlling it using your stomach muscles. And it's not, it does get a little hippy, but really try and focus on your tummy. So we're gonna go back and both legs in. And I'm just gonna show you a modified version so you can just do that the whole time, which is inhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. I'm gonna add my hands. So um, lock your fingers together. Sorry, my English. My English no good today, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, we're gonna interlace your fingers. That's the word. Interlace your fingers and place them behind your head. And try and place them not under your neck, but holding the like base of your skull. And then go ahead and lift your head two inches and make sure the weight of your head is in your hands and your elbows are wide. So we're not here holding wolves. We just have the weight of our head. So our neck is kind of free because our head is extremely heavy. 10, 14 pounds, I don't know. It's insane that we actually hold this big old thing up, give it a little, Speaking of, give it a little rock left and right. Oh, okay. So we're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift up, hold that big head of ours. Curl towards your belly, bring those legs in one at a time, and go ahead and extend the right leg. And switch. Keeping those elbows wide, switch. Be sure that your legs are in line with your body. So a lot of our legs are a little bit um, pointed out or you wanna go ahead and line them up if you need to twist your leg a little like me because my leg wants to go like that. So I have twisted it. Keep it in the center midline of your body. Your head is supported and switch and switch and switch. One more. And lower it all down. Beautiful. Whew. So your next exercise will be a double straight leg stretch. So we're going to bring our knees into our chest. Arms are going to start behind our head. Or they start here. I'm so sorry. I think they start right here at your ankles. Touch your ankles. And we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale everything out. So watch me first. Inhale to prepare. Exhale everything out. And then sweep your arms around. Touch your ankle. And so our hands are on our ankle. Inhale to prepare. Exhale everything out. Or sweep your arms around. Touch your ankle. Now let's add our head. So we're going to look up at our belly buttons when we inhale. And everything's up. Okay, so inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift everything up, sweep your arms around, and lower down. Again, lift everything up, inhale to prepare. Exhale, everything up, sweep your arms around, touch your ankles, and then lower your head down, slow and controlled. One more, inhale to prepare. Exhale, everything up, sweep your arms around, touch your ankles, and then lower down. How's that feel? That feels good. All right, let's sit up. I'm gonna do a spine stretch forward. So this is really great for um, our backs and our booties and the whole body. So sit up as straight as you can, sitting on your sits bones, right underneath you are these little booty bones. And you should be sitting straight and tall. And then your legs are out in front of you, flex your feet. Open them about as wide as your mat. And now pretend someone has a string 
and the string is on the top of the back of your head, right at the base, at the top of your skull. Someone has a string and they're pulling that string from the very top, 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 all the way from the ceiling. And this is making you sit up as tall as you possibly can. You're the tallest you've ever been in your whole life. Your feet are flexed and we are beautiful. Inhale to prepare, arms up. Um, and we're just gonna inhale, prepare. Exhale, just come straight over. And then come back up. So you wanna pretend that there's a ball in front of you. Um, like that, or more like a beach ball. So the optic is to stretch up and over. So I'm actually gonna do my arms out, palms face each other. Um, so I'm gonna go inhale, prepare, exhale, up and over, stretching forward. Exhale all the air out. Inhale, come back. Stacking up one vertebra at a time. Again, sitting as tall as you possibly can. There's a string hanging from your head and we're beautifully tall. Our arms are forward. Their palms are facing each other. There's a beach ball here, so we have to go up and over that beach ball, stretching as far as we can. Exhale all the air out. Inhale. Stack it up. One more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale over the beach ball. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All the air out. Inhale, stack it up. Woo. Okay, so now we're gonna do the saw. So with the saw, we're gonna have our arms wide open. And a lot of people have done the saw like this with their palms down. But if you have any shoulder issues, it can actually really hurt your shoulder because you end up pulling too far. So I was taught palms up. So we're gonna try it that way. So palms are up, please. And our arms are wide open. We're again sitting as tall as we possibly can. And the object of this is not really to saw off your pinky toe. Um, that's just the cue that I've learned. A lot of people cannot make it to the pinky toe. That's okay. The idea is to just get the flexion in the waist and the twist in the back. So if you are nowhere near your pinky toe, do not give up. It's not a big deal. Get the twist, get the flexion, and let your body do the rest. Arms out, palms up. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist. Forward, saw off your pinky toe. And come back straight. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist. Forward, saw off your pinky toe. All the air out. Inhale up. Sitting as tall as you possibly can. Exhale, twist. Forward, saw off your pinky toe. And come up to the right. Exhale, all the air out coming forward. Saw off your pinky toe. Come up straight. One more, each side. Saw off your pinky toe. And whichever side you're on, finish. Saw off your pinky toe. Oh, I got to do it. Yes, okay. How did that feel? Okay, let's see the saw. Open line rocker. Okay, so this is another one. Um, and you can, uh, again, just be working on your curve and not do a roll. So open leg rocker though, your hands um, really are here and it's crazy. Let's not do that yet, okay? Because I'm not even that good at it yet. So we're going to do open line rocker with, um, sorry, I have it written here somewhere, hands behind the knees. So um, they're on the outside of your knees. So usually you'd be here. So we're just going to keep our hands right here. And we're going to have our eight legs kind of open. So they're about as wide as my mat right now. And I have the C curve in my back. I'm looking at my belly button and I'm just going to roll back to my shoulders and come back. Balance. Ooh, ooh. All right. Inhale to repair. Exhale. Back. Balance. 
Inhale to prepare. Exhale back. Up. Balance. One more. Inhale to prepare. Exhale back. Balance. Beautiful. Okay. Okie dokie, spadokies. We're going to turn on our tummies. <clears throat> Hands are going to be here. So the object of this exercise, it's a single leg kick. So the object is not just to kick your butt because a lot of people get focused on that. It's really about getting our waist and belly off of the mat. So the idea is let's say we're watching TV, we're on TV, we're watching TV, we're on TV. Do you see this? This is all up and lifted, but my shoulders are down, my collarbones are open, and I'm up. And now I want to kick my butt. You see? You see the difference? Yeah, you see the difference? Sorry. Okay, so we're going to start down here. Lower. We're going to have our fists next to our ears. We're going to lift up. And we're in our lazy position. We're watching TV. No, 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 no. Oh. Seinfeld called? They want a reunion with you? You're gonna play a leg on TV. Lift it all up. All right, and now kick your bottom. So inhale, exhale, kick, kick. Inhale, exhale, kick, kick. Inhale, exhale. Sorry, keeping breath is hard. Inhale, exhale, kick, kick. Keep that belly tight. Keep it off the mat. Keep kicking your butt. Two more each side. And lower down. Let's give ourselves a oh, child's pose here. Stretching the elbow out. I don't know if you can hear the ice cream ends out in about. I hate that guy. I like how he's recession proof. Stay away from the ice cream man. Okay. Double leg kick. Double leg kick. I'm sorry, I gotta look at my book for this one again. Really oh, this one's really good, but can be hard for people that cannot reach behind their back. So, um, if you can't reach behind your back, because the idea in this exercise is to clasp your hands behind your back and then to come up. Um, if you can't do that, how about we just point our hands behind our back and come up? Um, but really, the idea is to open up our collarbones. And this whole area that a lot of us sitting on a computer or looking down at the phone or anything get all. So this is really good for opening this all up. So let's give it a try, okay? We're gonna, I might have to look at the book. Sorry. All right. So we're gonna lie on our stomachs and we're gonna clasp our hands behind our back. We're gonna squeeze our butt and our thighs together as we come up making like a tail with our fish like a fish tail. So inhale to prepare, exhale, and then lower down. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift everything up, kick your feet, and lower it all down. One more, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up, kick your feet, and lower down. Woo. I don't think I'm quite doing that right. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'll get better at this. We'll get better. But that's the basic idea is just to Lift our chest up and point your feet back. Opening that up. And we want to feel it in our upper back, not so much in our lower back. So if we tighten our belly, tighten your abs, and lift up. Only as far as you can go. And then lower down. That's going to be really good for opening that up. Now if you can't clasp your hands behind your back, just try hands back. Open it up. Maybe even reach out, open and down. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh, that's done pretty good. Okay. Um, leg pull down. Oh, so we're gonna do um, sort of like a plank. So we're gonna start here. Put your toes back and the other toe back. And this is just Joseph Pilates. Plank. You lift your leg, kick twice, lower down. Lift your other leg, kick twice, lower down. 
Try and stay centered. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick, kick, and lower. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick, kick, and lower down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick, kick, lower down. If this is too much on your wrist, go here. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, kick, kick, lower down. Inhale, prepare. One more each side. Ooh. Got my booty going. Got my booty going. Got my booty. Go, 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 go. Got my booty going. Okay. That's there, you guys. Woo! Got my booty going. All right. We're going to do side legs. We're almost done. I only got like 15 minutes left, so. You can do it. I know you can. We're all stuck at home. All right, so lie on your side, whatever side, it doesn't matter. Just, we're gonna do both, so. Lie on your side, and then light everything up with the back of the mat, so your hips are nice and lined up, and we're not rolling forward, we're not rolling back, we are just on our side perfectly. Head is down, you can be up, um, and if you're even, Wanting more Pilates precision, then you would want to be up here, giving you this waist. Um, but a lot of us, that is extremely hard. So just lay down. It's totally fine. Whew. And we're going to start with just front to back. So go ahead. We're all lined up at the back of the mat. And then just bring your legs forward. So basically, I'm straight here, and then my legs are forward. And we're going to go ahead and kick our leg forward. Inhale to prepare. Lift it up two inches. Inhale. Exhale, kick. And behind you. Inhale. Exhale, kick. And inhale. As far back as you can go without rolling your hip. And exhale. Kick. Inhale. Exhale, kick. Inhale. Exhale, kick. Inhale. Exhale, kick. And lower down. Now we're going to flex and point our legs. So you're going to lift it up, pointing it up, 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 and then flex coming down. Flex, 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 flex. Try and get your legs as long as you can. So point, point, point your toe. Ride it up your legs, straight up. Flex your foot and lower down. Pressing against the air like there's a hundred pounds in the way. Like you're not just going to drop it. There's a whole mass of marshmallow in the way or something. So you're lifting it up, 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 and then you're pressing down through just a wad of marshmallow goo. Ah, 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 ah. And then back up, straight up, and resist, 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 resist. Lower down. Good job. All right, we're gonna do some leg circles. So you're just gonna bring your legs up an inch, and you're going to click your heel, make little circles the size of dinner plates. So click and circle. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And let's rotate and go in reverse. Click in your heel. So. So you're going to bring your legs up, back, over, down. But we're not going to rotate our hip. We're not rolling around. We're just going as back as we can go without falling over. If you fall over, you've gone too far. So just back, up, around, and down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch as far as you can. Point that toe. Exhale. One more. Lower down. Now we're going to go in reverse. Bring it back up. Inhale. Go in reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Big circles without falling. 
Click that ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. One more. Oh, lower down. Woo! My booty! All right. We're going to do the bicycle. So just bring your knees in. We're perfect again in alignment. We're just going to lift that leg up and we're going to ride our bike. Going on a bike ride around pandemic Portland. Riding my bike that I own that I never use. And gonna take that bike ride in reverse. Going back home, cause I'm too scared to be outside right now. Riding it back. Oh my god, that hurts. Woo! One more. And lower down. Go ahead and pound out your hip if you like. I'm gonna switch sides. So let's turn over to the other side. Whatever's easier. Hmm. Hopefully I'll do this in the correct order again. But if I don't, I apologize. So line up on the back. Again, your hips are straight underneath you and you're just gonna bring your legs a little bit forward. So you're in perfect alignment. This hand is here just to support you. Again, you can have your head down. You can be here, and if you want a super Pilates workout, you would be here. So, lifting this all up. I'll get there. But today, I'm gonna lay. So, let's lay. And let's start with front to back. So, just lift your leg up an inch. Sorry, went a little high. My hip's a little tight today. So, lift your head up an inch. Inhale, to prepare. Exhale, kick, kick. And behind you, as far as you can go without rolling forward. A little forward's okay, you got that hand there for that, but that's all. Okay, inhale to prepare. Exhale, kick, kick, and inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I mean, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. And lower down. All right, so now we're gonna flex and point our foot. So we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna point our toe up, 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 up. And then flex it down, down, down through a big old water marshmallow. Oh, it's so hard to get through. And again, bring your leg up, 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 open, and point and flex your foot down. You're pushing through a thousand pounds of marshmallow goo all the way down. Point it up, 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 up. And then flex it down. Ah. One more. Up, 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 up. And flex it down. Beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Woo. I'm getting a workout, so that's good. I need a little water, but all the. Okay, so we're going to do some small circles. So just bring your leg up an inch, and you're going to click your heel. And just the size of a small dinner plate. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go in reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Lower down. Woo. It's in my booty. It's in my booty. It's in my booty. All right, now we're going to do large leg circles. So go ahead and bring your leg up an inch again. And we're going to do the biggest leg circle you can again without falling back or falling forward. Stand up here to stabilize you. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching as far back as you can. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Let now go in reverse. Start your ankle. Click up behind you and come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Lower down. My booty's gonna get all beautiful. Alright, 
so now we're gonna do our bicycle. So you're gonna go ahead and lift your legs, bring them into right in front of you, and knees are bent, and you're just gonna lift this foot up, and we're gonna ride our bicycle. And we're riding our bicycle all over Southeast Portland, or wherever you live. Better enjoy it, cause it's gonna rain tomorrow. Oh no, it's about to rain. So we're gonna pile it down and we're gonna ride our bike home in reverse. Gotta get home, gotta get home. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, exhale, and lower down. Down, 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 down. All right. We got about three minutes left, so we're gonna try a teaser. So go ahead and uh, sit back, roll yourself down, slow and controlled as best you can. Yes, indeedy. So this teaser, we're gonna start with, um, actually, excuse me one second. I had a really good, Sorry, she had a really good one in here. I want to try and use. Oh god, not prepared. Oh, I'm fired. There it is. I found it. Okay, teaser one. We're gonna start with our knees bent, legs behind us. The object. Watch me. So we're gonna come all the way up and back down. And the object eventually will be to get, oof, to get here and back down. But that's crazy talk today. So let's start here. Arms behind us, knees are bent. And go ahead and just come up and let your legs go forward. And bend them back down. Slow, controlled, curl back. All right. Their arms are behind us. Inhale to repair. Exhale, come up. Straighten your legs out as you come up. Coming up and re trying to reach towards the where the wall meets the ceiling, and then curl your spine back. Slow and controlled. Go ahead and bend those knees back. Up, 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 and all the way down. Let's do one more, maybe two. Arms are behind us. Knees are bent. We're gonna inhale, curl up. This is our baby teaser. Teaser, uh, beginning, learning how. We're gonna get there together. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift. Slow and control, come up. Reach your arms towards where the wall meets the ceiling. And then see her back, slow, control. Bend those knees with you. Come slow, 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 slow. And lower down, beautiful. Let's do hip curls while we're down here. So let's go ahead and bring both your feet up. Bring your legs into a kind of period, period, I think. Ballet, I don't know ballet, but I think it's, oh, so I'm not straight. My legs are a little bit curved. And we're gonna do circles with our hips. So we're gonna go down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Down, around. Up and now let's go the other way. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up. Down, and then up. And we're gonna try and make a full circle this time. So let's go from up all the way around. Down, 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 up. Starting at the top, down, around. Tummy's tight and all the way. We're gonna go in reverse, so go the other way, down, 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 round, 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 up, oh, and one more, down, 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 around, and up, and bring those knees in, all right, we're gonna end with seal, so again, if you're not comfortable rolling like ball, you know what to do, get in your C curve and practice, I just wanna see you here, or here, or here, you can lift your arms, you can come out, you can go back and come back forward. We're gonna do the seal. Pray hands between the ankles, grab the ankles, our feet come up. 
I'm in a balance point. I can clap my feet. Whew, so the seal is a silly one, but it's fun. So we're gonna clap our feet twice. Clap, clap, roll back to our shoulders. Clap, clap, and roll back up. See how it feels twisted there? Try not to do that, try to stay straight. So balance point, my hands are around my ankles. I'm looking, I'm tucked, everything's in. I'm in a C curve, inhale to prepare. Exhale, clap, clap, roll back to shoulders. Clap, clap. You could just do the clap on the down. It's really hard to do it at the back. So let's try it that way. So clap, clap, whoop, roll, come back up. Balance point, clap, clap, roll back, come back up, clap, clap, roll back, come back up, clap, clap, roll back, let go of your ankles, cross them, feet up, and you're done. I hope you've enjoyed my Pilates. Um, and yeah, please give me any feedback you can, you know, this is still new to me and I'm trying to get better, but um, let me know what you think, okay? I love you guys. Bye!